What's going on guys? Welcome back here on my channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Sasha and in today's video, we'll be talking about why you should not use the new Instagram guides feature. So if that sounds interesting, let's get right into it. Okay, so as of right now, the Instagram guides feature is still a beta feature. Now, if you don't know what that means, I'm a beta tester. So basically you get access to uh, certain features a little bit more early. So as of right now, if you're not a beta tester, then you might not have access to the feature just yet. But that might not be your biggest problem because I certainly believe that this feature is not the very best feature that has been introduced to the Instagram platform. And so to start things off right here, there has been this trend on Instagram to where they're cloning certain features from other social media platforms in order to keep you as a user on their ecosystem and on their platform. And this all started a while ago with the introduction of Instagram stories. Instagram stories were a direct rival to Snapchat because Snapchat originally invented that content feature to where you're posting something and after 24 hours or at least after a certain amount of time this content disappears and if you take a look at instagram stories now this is exactly what they allow you to do as well so yeah this has been introduced in order for you to stay longer on their platform and not lose you to another social media platform which in this example has been snapchat and this trend has only continued ever since. The next feature that we've seen on Instagram was IGTV, which is a direct rival to YouTube. Now after that, right now it's being introduced the Reels feature and Reels is a direct rival to TikTok. And now we're seeing this guides feature, which was being in implemented into the ecosystem of Instagram, which is a direct rival to not only Medium, but also any blog post out there on Google. Because what the guides feature allows you to do is create a mini blog article, a blog post directly in the Instagram application. So you no longer have to run a blog or run a website in general to host articles and blog posts, but instead you as an Instagram user can now do the same exact thing on your Instagram account. But even better, you can link your postings on the platform and even save postings directly into that and embed them into that guide so uh, that you can drive a little bit more engagement to them. But as you can already tell from the title of this video, this is it for the positive things of that feature. The rest that follows right now is only negative points, which is why I think it is not a very good strategy to use that Instagram guides feature as of right now. It just doesn't make sense for a creator out there to make use out of that feature. While I was fiddling around with that new feature and testing everything regarding it, the first major deal breaker that I saw was the limited visibility. So you as a creator, if you're creating a guide, you are very limited in the way that people can actually find it. To be more specific right here, the only people that can find your guide and consume it are people that already do follow you. So outside of your already existing audience, there is no visibility at all when it comes to Instagram guides. That means you cannot add hashtags that are working and make your guide rank in the hashtags, for example. But that also means that there is no dedicated space at all on Instagram to consuming guides. So let's say, for example, you're going to the explore page and uh, searching for a guide to pop up, a popular guide, for example, you won't find that. There's no place on Instagram that you can directly go to only to consume guides or to even find guides. The only real way to find a guide is to go to a creator's account, to a, a account on Instagram in general that has posted a guide or even several guides. And then you can find that guides tab within their profile. But other than that, finding a guide will be impossible. And I mean, come on, why even put in the time to create a guide when the only people that can find that guide are the people that already do follow you? I mean, it is a nice content addition to where you can create valuable pieces of content that are tailored directly towards your audience. But if you cannot reach any more people outside of your already existing audience, then why even bother with it? So as you can see, the only real people that do benefit from that new feature are big influencers or big theme pages or big Instagram accounts in general that already have a huge audience that they can serve with that new content format. But other than that, it's only a waste of your time. And now let's compare it to a traditional blog post or a traditional blog in general on Google, because that feature is set to rival exactly that. Now, if you have a Google blog, then what you can do is you can rank your articles in Google, because if you don't know this already, Google is a search engine. And this search engine allows you to have your content appear 
when somebody searches for certain things. So let's say you have a fitness blog and you're writing about fitness, then if somebody goes onto Google and searches for fitness, so let's say fitness tips or something along those lines, then guess what? Your blog post can be appearing right there in front of them and they can then go ahead and read your blog post. But now on Instagram, that's not the case at all. And you get all of that for those hours and hours that you invest into creating that guide. Because I've been running a blog for multiple years myself and I know what it takes to create a blog post. So creating a guide, a full on guide that gives value is definitely going to cost you a little bit of time that you have to invest. And now if for that, you get no visibility at all outside of your already existing audience or outside of people directly going to your profile and uh, looking at that guide, then it's definitely not worth it at all. And this is exactly why, at least in my opinion, you should not use the new Instagram guides feature. It is only a time waster and the only real people that are going to benefit from it are really huge and large influencers and pages on Instagram that can serve that to their audience and make them happy consuming it. But outside of that, there is no way to reach more people, even grow your Instagram account with that guides feature. And so it is a time waster. Now making Instagram guides a beta feature still makes me hope and also believe that they're going to change something to give guides more visibility somewhere along the way. Other than that, it's just ludicrous. So what they have to do right now is to uh, change the, the aspects or to change the platform in general, which is something that they're actually doing right now. So I've been talking about that in my past videos. They're implementing the Instagram Reels in a way to the platform where they're given a dedicated space. So there will be eventually a uh, button on Instagram that allows you to only consume Reels. And now something like that for guides would be amazing because yeah, if you compare that to blog posts, which this feature is going to rival, then you have to have a certain dedicated spot only to consume and read guides. But now with that being said, you guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and found it valuable. As always, if you did so, smash the subscribe button, join the family, and I'm looking forward to see you in my next video.